Nice. <laughs> they, they just unload her like, well, fuck her. had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes, we had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. <laughs> Good luck, my boy. Oh, let's make this guy an assassin. Oh, and, uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Yeah, come on. Who wouldn't want to hang out with this guy? This guy's great. Let's make him an assassin. They make all the wrong people assassins, I, I swear. What the hell is the vantage point? I was about to say, who the hell are these people? They work for me. I see, I didn't know this was a Jacob mission. I just had the, the skull. The generic skull. You would think that you would take the more stealthier of the two in order to, uh, you know, do an assassination mission, but I've been wrong before. And what the hell? There's a vantage point indoors. Just police. Where would I find the doctor? The good doctor. Oh, what is this? Like, an, uh, what is it called? Uh, yeah, I forget what this is called. Like an auditorium. Oh. Oh, shit! As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. And he just casually walks off. Ah, fuck it. Send up another. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Lidson. What, kill the young doctor? I don't care about your ethics. And I care even less about your damn patients. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. Alright, so this is like the Altair style missions. Why is there a bloody handprint on the window? Alright. We have different opportunities. Probably could pose as the young doctor and then just walk up to him and kill him. I want to try that. Do not fire a single bullet. How to do it. I have to figure out how to get down there. Okay, I have to speak to her. She'll unlock all the doors. And where's the other guy? Oh, take the place of the cadaver. Okay, I would need to hide the corpse.
This guy better piss off. Fuck. Whoops! What am I doing up here? Okay, so at least I know now that it's worthwhile to give him the door lock picking ability because, watch, I'm going to get blocked one time because I can't open a door. In fact, do I have the points to do it right now? Because if so, I will gladly do it. Yes, I'm not even going to wait for me to fuck up and I can't open the door. I'll just take it right now. Since some of these missions are going to be locked behind certain characters. That was fucking close. How do you hide the body, like, in a place like this? There you go. Only that my next question is, how the hell do I get down to the nurse? So what, they fired her and they locked her in? That's nice. Oh, it changed to hide the body. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. It's that time of night again. I'm getting blind. I me can hide in here. What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. There you go. Jackass. He just randomly spawned over here too. All locked doors can now be opened. So what, that's it? Just fuck her? Okay, I guess I'm not gonna go help her. Okay, yeah, I guess, whatever. I got the key from her, so who cares? figure out how to get to the cadaver. That's going to be hilarious. What's up here? Nothing? 
Yeah, nothing at all. I think the only way through is through the lobby that I'm trying so hard to avoid. Who even knows where the electroconvulsive therapy is even happening at? Wait, can you not get through this? Oh, there you go. He's gonna... Jesus. We go from the upper floor. It's not at all what I wanted to do, by the way. I wanted to go back around. Wouldn't let me walk back around like I wanted to. That's fine. Let me get this while I'm here. I don't know, will I get the double? I can't take cover on this wall. Oh, this will be fun. There you go. Okay, doesn't seem like this guy comes over here. Did I hear something? Yeah, did you? Scared. I don't want this guy to see me. I'm going to wait for him to walk back over there. Come on. Of course, 
What the hell? What? He's like saying, I'm sorry, sir. I'm they're not allowed here. He doesn't even know where I am. Pff, okay. This is gonna be weird. Yes, fully clothed. He's still with his boots on. Oh my god, this guy is a dope. Well, to the furnace with this one, he was scheduled to be cremated, it's not the actual body. Took you long enough. Here it is, Doctor. Someone's puking over there. Okay, fuck this guy. Oh, yes! <laughs> Beautiful. Now, here's for his fucking dissertation right here. At last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Steric has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. Oh, you're a child. A child who believes they can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Oh, nice. Slim, right open. There you go. Time to soil the hanky. I love how they always have these long-winded speeches. Like, your neck is open, dude. You're not talking at all. My God. Fuck you. This guy misses. What? He's fucking half dead. He gets a cheap swipe. I like how no one in the asylum started screaming. Nobody liked this jackass. Beautiful. Oh, here's this guy. I like that. I like that ending right there. Two knives, real quickly. Where, where are the fucking exits here? There we go. Let's get out of here. My guys are right outside anyway. Could have probably just grabbed a gang and just gone ham. Beautiful. That's a lot of experience for that. A quick and reliable remedy. What? Oh, is that all of Chapter 4? Oh, I guess so. Wait, what's happening? Hold on, let me see. Something's about to happen. Namely like that. Has ceased. Outrageous. 
Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps it doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but you. simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. I'm having my fucking tea. Shut up. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. And up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories, and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin. You disrespect the very city that works day and night, so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. <laughs> that was the best way to end it. Holy shit. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otzelberg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. Where's the fucking rogue guy? He's been and killing assassins for a long time. Okay, that's all you fucking interrupted me for? Thank God you're alright. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. Okay. These cutscenes are awkward as hell. But I'm glad they got away. Otzo Berg does not play. He's brutal. 